So I love this, this uh, model. It's really fun. It was actually gonna crack you up. This is a book that I did in 2009 when my name was <laughs> Karen Thomas, but now I'm Parsons. I've been Parsons for about, uh, it's 10 years this year and I'm very happy, but this was my author name. And, um, but that's, so anytime, if you look up that, you'll see this book. Now there's several models in this book, but this one is called, I called it the Tato puzzle. And there it is. And this one is basically a folded paper purse that originated in Japan and it holds items like uh, threads and uh, even Kleenex, needles, postage stamps, things like that. And it opens like a puzzle. So it's kind of a fun one. And, and I might even have to use it. Oops, I have to go back to it um, because it's actually helpful for me to look at the diagram. Where did it go? <laughs> I'll find it. It's good to, to refer to the diagram after we've already uh, seen it. And what I could do is I will look for the diagram in my computer and I'll upload it onto the site. So you can have that to access as well. So what, you, what we do to, to make the, this size, this is the size that I have in the book. And that's an eight and a half inch square of paper. And this is from a little six inch square. So really, I just had to kind of do the math on the measurements because uh, to make, you have to just figure out how the distance on making some creases, but I was able to get the measurements for this size, this one, and then this one's a little bigger. This is a nine inch square, just a slightly, light, slightly bigger. And the reason I wanted it to be bigger is you know those little cards that, that uh, those little uh, motivational cards I wanted it to fit inside that. So I was able to do the little bit of math, which I'm not really good at, but I was able to do it and get the card to, to fit. So now the thing about this, that's the reason it's a puzzle is once you've opened it, it's not easy to put back together necessarily. So, but I'm gonna show you how to fold it first and then we'll talk about how you put it back together. But the beauty of it, let's say you wanna send it or give it away you can just basically the person that's receiving it will open it and um, they may not be able to put it back together without your assistance, but um, it's still, it just makes it more of a surprise. But for you, you'll be able to figure it out. Um, I also reinforce the back. And the reason I do that is it makes the easy, the opening and closing when you're trying to, when you wanna go, if you're taking something out and you wanna put it back together, it just makes it a little easier to have a solid base so I always just, uh, I'm just gonna kind of show you how I put it back together. I just go in one, I start with the right or the right side and then I fold the top, I fold the left and then I fold this side. But what I need to do, I always forget how, which way it goes. <laughs> That's why it's a puzzle. Is then I just have to tuck in that little side and it doesn't matter which side you tuck in, but if you have good paper, good strong paper, um, it will work. And also paper has a memory. So if you leave, leave it like this for quite a while, that paper will re kind of remember where to go. So, but the folding sequence is really easy. So I'm gonna show you on an eight and a half by 11. I'll start with that. Let's see, I'll use a different color, I think, just so to make it easier for you to see on the, with the camera. So what we have is an eight and a half inch square. And the first thing you do, well, actually you would wanna make sure that you have um, a ruler, any type of ruler, a pencil, like I have a pencil here and eraser, just the eraser to, to erase my marks, but you don't need to, if you don't wanna erase them, that's okay. I use a glue stick for to glue the back on, but we won't use that right now. So to make your first thing you do is you fold it in half, just in a triangle. You fold your sheet in half and you want the color that you want the dominant color. So the color that's on the outside of the box, that's the side you want facing on the table. So the, right now I want my trim to be this blue, just like this green is. So I want to have my dominant color down, facing down. So what I wanna do is fold it in half in a triangle and just make a crease. And I open this up, I'm gonna turn it and I'm just gonna fold it in half again in a triangle in the other direction. Now, the thing that's a little different, it's kind of going away from the traditional origami is I'm going to measure, I'm gonna make a, a measurement here. And for the 
oh boy, I forgot now. <laughs> the, it's two inches. I believe it's two inches. Okay. So from the center crib, the center line, you can see this kind of X, you know, right in the middle. I want to make a two inch little notch, just, just a mark so I know it's two inches. And I could barely see that. So I'm going to do this with a white pen. Just make a dot on just two inches outside that center line. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm taking my ruler when I mark two inches. So from that center line, two inches out. Just a little time, just a little indication to show me where I'm going to be doing my next fold. And it, it will make sense as soon as I show you the fold. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this bottom point and I'm going to fold it up to this, that first, that little two inch mark that I made on the other side. I'm just going to fold it and kind of line everything up so that the crease, this, this um, crease matches that crease. So everything's lined up. You want it totally straight. I'm going to crease it. And when I open it up, I want to make sure that that crease, you see that little dot that I marked? That tells me that my measurements are correct because I did the, my, this crease came up to here, you know, it was just shows that I did it right. In my previous trying to make this, oh boy, I had a hard time. I was trying to crease along that, this mark, um, just like I'll try. I was trying to make the crease right here and it actually made it very difficult. So the, all you need to do is take this bottom point and take it to, to just to touch that mark you made on the other side and then crease. And then you'll see that that's where that little mark is. So do this on all four sides, just make that fold on all four sides. Now, what I've noticed is I, I, I kind of had to figure out math wise, not that I want to give you a math lesson because I'm not a good, I'm terrible at math. But what I did notice is because I have an eight and a half inch paper, but it's really 12 inches across from this corner edge to the corner edge. And so that's how you basically want to divide into uh, six sections. And that's why the two inches, because it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. So that's how you're able to kind of figure it out. So if you wanted to, to expand your, make a larger one or smaller one, you would just divide that long, uh, this diagonal length into six sec equal sections. So that's how you would do that. So here's the fun part of this fold. So there, all my pre-folding is done. I mean, the, the base of it. This is actually, if I would take a card, this is the base of the inside of the, of the uh, box. You can even fold with the, let's say you have a card that you wanna give or surprise, and you want to write something or you wanna give some artwork. You can fold this with that inside already, because especially if you don't wanna unfold it again. So, but I'm just gonna fold it over Starting with the left side, I'm just going to fold it on the crease that's already there. Nothing new. And then I'm going to take this point that's right here. I'm going to fold it right back to meet the uh, outside fold. Just And then everything just lines up. Just want this crease to be lined up with everything else. And then I'm just going to unfold it and make this point go to that crease I just made. So that, I'm just gonna make sure that's lined up. There we go, like this. So now I'm just gonna fold it back on itself like this and leave it like that. And then the next step is to take the top or you can do the bottom, but I'm just gonna do the top. We'll start and we'll do the same thing. And it's just gonna be folding it. Basically, it's not a new crease. You're gonna take the top part and fold it back right to that very outer edge make sure that point matches out there. And then I'm just gonna crease this and I'm gonna unfold it and roll this or just fold that little point back to that crease that's closest to me. I'm just gonna roll it back and leave it like this. And I'm gonna take do the same thing. I'm just gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this next one. We'll fold it on the existing crease, fold it up to the part back there and just crease it. And then I'm gonna take this point and fold, make that corner just kind of tucking in. We're kind of creating a hem. And then the last one, I'm going to take 
I'm going to fold it the same way, folding that point over this, and then I'm going to fold it back along that outer edge, make a crease, and then open it up, bring this point to this part here, to that first crease. And just you can tell everything's lining up by the way what's underneath. So just kind of make everything lined up. Now my folding is done. The folding is done. Now the secret, the fun part is to make it, to get this part or to get this part, doesn't matter. Um, we want one of these edges to go inside this here. So what I do, let's hope this works because sometimes I don't do it right. So I'm gonna, so don't do it yet. If you're following with me, <laughs> let me make a mistake if that's what's gonna happen. What I usually do is I pick it up and I'm gonna take this point. I'm not gonna make new creases. I'm just reversing what's already there. And I'm gonna tuck it underneath. And this is a thicker piece of paper. So it's gonna be a little more stubborn. There it goes, there it goes. I'm just gonna slide it under. And then you just need to kind of, in this one, because it wrinkled because I just, look, there we go. I was able to slide it. Did you just, if you saw that, I'll repeat this, of course. But I was able to get that part. So basically, this last part that we just did, you want to get this, bring this under. So bringing it under, it's kind of like a box. You know, when you fold a box, <laughs> when you're trying to get a, a box to close, like a cardboard box without having to use tape, you just want to slide that under and get everything flat and then it just goes right under. So that is the fold. I'm gonna do run through this again because it's always good to see it again. And I'm gonna do it with a smaller piece of paper so that you can see it probably better. Um, so I want my dominant color here. And I'm just gonna go, if you, feel, if you all feel that you got the first steps pretty easily, um, I will just kind of go through this folding part quickly and then I'll show you the assembly part. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just folding it in a triangle. Now this one, because it's six inches, I'm gonna give you those measurements so that you'll be able to use, you know, do this with a six inch. That is one and um, 11 sixteenths inch out. So same thing, I'm gonna to have to do this with a, with a uh, white pin so you can see. So one and 11 sixteenths, where is that? I guess it's over here. Oh boy. Let me try to do that again. Oh, I know what I can do to make it easy, really easy. <laughs> I can actually take this one apart and I see what it is. So I'm just gonna do that because I'm not I, I'm not thinking. So let's see, that is, where is the middle there? That is, no, it's not, it's actually, oh, it's one and, it's one and three, um, three eighths, okay. All right, that's what it was, not one eleven sixteenths. So one and three eighths out. So I'm just gonna make a little mark on all of those sides that are one and three eighths. And this is the only time you need to measure. There's probably an origami way, like a, I'm sure there's a way to do this, to figure out the, the, the marks, but that's just the only way that I know how. <laughs> so there I made my little, uh, little marks. And then I can test my math to make sure it's okay by folding it up to that little first uh, first dot that I made. And then when I unfold it, as long as that, and it did, it um, it's exactly right. So one and three eighths is your measurement on a six inch. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing, fold it up. And again, on all four corners. Okay, so I've got that done. Don't need the ruler anymore. So I'll start with, and I'm gonna follow my book for a second because maybe I, I'm just gonna follow it exactly and then you'll get this diagram. So I have where I fold it up on the, oh, I see, I fold it from the bottom and then I'm going to fold it back down on itself. So let's just do follow it this way and see how it goes. The book should be right, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Um, I'm gonna open it up and fold this corner to that first crease that I made and then fold it back. So I have that first little part. Now I'm gonna fold it the right side. This is just how the book is. So I'm just gonna follow it. Folding the right side to the left and then I'm gonna fold this point back. Make sure, I'll make sure that everything's lined up. 
And they made all these creases are lined up. That's really the only kind of secret that's really getting those everything lining up under and all the layers. And I'm just going to fold this little point back and fold, you know, just make that little hem. And then it says on my, yes, okay. I'm going to fold the top down. And I don't think I did this the first time. So somehow I got it right anyway, but I think this is the way the diagram seems to make it go easier. So now I'm just going to fold, we've got it here, that little section. I'm going to fold it backwards, crease, and then fold that little corner to that most recent crease and roll it back. Now it says in my little book, it says to take the left side and fold it. It's the same sequence, it's just different orientation. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to fold these parts. And then what is it? So I'm gonna look at the next thing and it says, <laughs> now I'm just gonna open that up like this. So basically I have my last page that needs to be tucked in. And it basically just says to, to uh, mountain fold this bottom crease here, which this part here is this little valley needs to be a mountain. So what it says is that the mountain, once you get that mountain fold, then you bring that, bring that under and don't make new creases yet. Don't make any, in fact, you don't wanna make any new creases. You're just bringing that under. So then you tuck it in and then you just keep working it until all the little, till everything slides underneath. And there I got it. So it was the same. It's the same way. There's really only one way to do it there. So that's how you get it together the first time. But now the reason I make the little reinforcements on the bottom, if that helps you to, to open it up again. So let's say you want to put something in it. Well, let's say I can put anything and I'll put one of the you can just slide something else, another, another box, a piece of paper, a card, and you just wanna tuck it back in. If you don't unfold it all the, all the way, you can actually get everything in. Um, that's how you would do it. You can hold all kinds of goodies in there. Let's see. So I won't unfold it all the way. So if I open it up like this, so I'm not unfolding everything, it's kind of a box still. And now I can slide whatever little goodie or surprise I want inside. And this one has a little memory because I made it the other day. So it's kind of popping back where I want it to. If you just kind of open it partially and then put your whatever, you, anything you want in there, anything that's going to hold it. It does have a room. Like if you have a thicker item, like a fabric, something with fabric, you can still get quite a bit. There's a lot of room in this because it is really technically a box. It's just flat. So there I'm able to get that opened up. And the same with this, or my other one that was bigger. Is that the one? Well, somewhere. <laughs> I had a bigger one. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It's on the ground. Good spot. Good place. So now here's one that I just left open. I'm going to just go ahead, try to put in it. That's why it's a puzzle. So I, I'm just going to fold this part down to the left, fold this part. Fold this part and then this part. And so what I need to do is get this part tucked in. I'm going to first put my little card in there. Slide that in and then just, just make it happen. And it will work. It will actually, the more you work with it, it will have its own memory. So it's a lot easier after first, second, third times. So that is our little box today. And I would like to, oh, before I go from there, I'll give you the measurements for the bottom. If you want to reinforce the bottom, which it makes does make it easier to open and close, um, you just want to take, I'm going to just, so you can write these down. For the eight and a half inch square, you want a three and seven eighths inch square piece of cardstock. And for the six inch square, you want a two and three quarter inch square for the bottom. So those are your measurements to get, to be able to uh, cover those nice. Like, so you can see I did that with this one. I just I just took a glue stick and I put it on. So I'll show you. And that will reinforce them, which is nice. So you can just put your apply your glue on the back. And it'd be really cute is to put a little message beforehand. Mm. And you know, or, or you can do a painting or a drawing or a doodle or something fun like that. And then just 
put it on the back and I measured it to be a little bit smaller than the uh, card or than the box itself. And now I've got, uh, it will reinforce, of course, this needs to dry before I use it. But so now it's much stronger. And you can also put another, to reinforce it even further, you can actually put a, uh, another piece inside and glue it in. So I'll just glue that real quick. And this would be fun to put a message in or a really neat drawing or anything. But also just create, it's like the bottom of the box. So I just have to make sure it's kind of lined up uh, I'm in the center so I don't have a hard time folding it back on itself. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close it. And I think I need to move, shift it up a little bit. There we go. And the very last but not least is getting that back together. So just basically putting it in and tucking. Now I didn't get it this time. So that means I did it the wrong way. So I'm gonna go open it up and I'm gonna start with the right side, just kind of go in a sequence. And that's really how you'll, you'll get this. And then I'm just gonna put this right under here and that should work. There we are. So just basically it's just sequence. And then this, once it gets memory, it will hold together a lot longer. So that